YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's YouTube channel, Nasdaq. In today's video, I am going to introduce Nasdaq's vulnerability scanner. This is a free scanner you can use in your home. Previously, I introduced the Qualys free community edition scanner to scan your home network. That was recorded probably one year ago. And uh, in this video, I'm going to start to introduce a new scanner, Nessus, which is also a very popular scanner. You can download it for free and configure it, get a free activation code, and then you can use it to do scan your home network, find out the vulnerabilities. This is topology. As you can see, you are using wireless router to connect in all your computers, as I did in my home. You may also have firewall, you may not, but the, you will need to install your scanner. As I show here, my Nessus scanner installed on 192.168.2.15 and using a wireless router connecting to other computers. For example, my test PC 192.168.2.30. I'm going to scan this machine, Windows 7 machine, and trying to find out the vulnerability. You can scan your whole network as well. Let's start it. I'm going to install Nessus Scanner on this 192.168.2.15 Windows 2016 server. It's a virtual server. I already have Chrome installed. Uh, basically, you just need to search Nessus Scanner download and you will find the download link from Nessus website. It's free to download first, and you also can get the activation code for free. But that's only for essential version, for professional version, enterprise version, and the other higher than essential version, you probably need to pay. But you can try those version for seven days free, I believe. Um, now let's download the Windows version. I'm using Windows 2016. This is Windows. 32-bit version, you don't want that. Um, if you go down, you will find the 64-bit version as well. Yeah, it's uh, almost at the end of the section 8.12. So right now version is 8.12.0, released on October 8, 77 megabytes. Just click it, you can download it, accept the user agreement. Downloading has been completed. I put it on a desktop. Installation is simple, easy. You can double click or you can just right click, select install. So the install shield wizard shows up. Next. Accept the terms in the license agreement. Next. Choose a folder. I will leave it default. Then you can just hit the install button. Now it's finished the installation. There's some other components will need it as well, um, but they will prompt up to ask you to accept on the click the next button to continue. We will see that. Right now it's installing VC runtime redistributable. Okay. The WinP cap 4.1.3 will be needed. License agreement, you need to agree that and then choose install to continue. Finish WinP cap installation, then Nessus installation will continue. Well, it's finished it. You can close this window. The Nessus web page will automatically launch it on port 8834. You can connect via SSL. 
but you will get the security alarm. That's okay. Process to load the page. And now we are initializing the Nessus software. It will ask us to get the activation key for your choose the version. So the version here, there's a four different version, Essentials, Professional, Manager, and the Manager Scanner. For the home user, I strongly suggest Nessus Essentials. It's free forever. You don't have to worry about the explanation and you don't need to spend money to get the new activation key for your professional manager and the scanner. And it will ask you to get the activation key. Just put some uh, first name and the email and then you will get the email on that. So after you get the email, you need to put the activation code here. You do something like this. Um, so you will get the email like this, and then you will get the code. So what do you need to do? You just need to copy the code into this text box. Just like I did here, continue. Then you need to create a user account. After that, it's completed. It will take some time to update your system. It will download the, it will download all plugins and updates, templates, all those things, and put into your system. So we're gonna wait this time. After one hour waiting, almost one hour waiting, the Nessus Essentials version finally downloaded all plugin and compiled it and installed it. Now I'm getting this page to do discovery scanning. So what I can do here is I can put my home network and then submit. They're gonna find out all IPs in your network, and then you can run selecting the scans you can do. For the um, Essentials version, you have 16 horse limit on your license. That means you can scan 16 machines at the same, the same time in the one scan, right? Um, I'm gonna try to scan 192.168.2.30. That's my test machine. Install the Windows 7 on it. It shouldn't take a very long time to get the scanning finish it. So we will wait here and see the scanning process. At the same time, we probably gonna browse in the web interface and show you what we have here. So we have my scans, which is the scans we planned and we are working on. There's all scans you already done. There's a trash the scan folder, which you don't want to leave in your all scans. You can move it to the trash, clean up your scans. So here is a policy. You also can create that custom template to perform your scans and the plugins. If you go to my scans, you can start with a new scan and then those template, scan template are predefined. So you can move you as uh, essential. You can use most of vulnerability scans, but for some advanced features like compliance scans or some mobile device scans, you're gonna need to upgrade to a professional version. You can do basic network scan, advanced scan, advanced dynamic scan, malware scan, web application test, credential patch audit, all those scans. So the first one you can do always, you need to start from host discovery. You need to find out all machines live in your network and then choose the machines to scan. And assuming the scan has been ongoing, that's a basic network scan. The discovery scan already completed. So we can see the result here. We have lots of machines up and running and then the port which ports are opening. 
So for the 192.168.2.30, so we already got some information here. We have two vulnerabilities, but uh, they are on the civility in four, which is like the information being found by the scanner. It may face in the information leaking vulnerability. So let's see our on demand scan 192.168.2.30. So, like 4% has been done. And so, 11 vulnerabilities has been found. Most of them, actually, all of them are in for severity level. So far, there's no critical, no high, no median, and even not low severity being found. The scanning is still ongoing. We're going to pause the video and come back once it's done to see the result. OK, the scanning has been done. Um, we do have some critical, high, median, low, one a bit found, total is 27. Um, you can see there's a mixed severity, median and low. Uh, mixed severity, it have a couple of um, different types of severities together, critical, high, median, and the info. So you can see the blue keep vulnerabilities here. And also on support windows, this, this critical ones. And you will see CVE number relating to this critical vulnerability. Also, there's a solution for how to patch it. And the port number to associate with that vulnerability. So this is basic steps. You can set up your vulnerability scanner in your home as free and uh, find out uh, the potential vulnerabilities in your network and the remedy. Thank you for watching.